Shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give our praise, glory, and honor to us say y'all by saying, hallelujah. Yahweh is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Elohim of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, the Savior and Redeemer of Israel. I'm Torah Tanakh, Old Testament, the Book of Life, the Book of Remembrance, Ten Toes Down, and will love to the chosen ones of the chosen elect and chosen remnant of Israel. I love you all. Hallelujah. I'm going to say stay strong, keep your head up, stay positive, don't quit, never give up, stay the course to the end. I keep praising y'all all the way to the grave, all the way to the graveyard. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Another video. Another video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a cow subscribe. Like, comment, share. And turn post notifications. And turn the bell. So it's time I drop in, upload a video. You'll be notified. So turn the bell. Ding, 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 ding. And if you like this video, then please give it a fat thumbs up. Ching, ching, ching. I appreciate all the love and support. And I hope everyone is having a day or trying to or trying to grow more spiritually with the most high. Improving your walk of faith with the most high. For today's topic, subject title and spiritual teaching, it's gonna be about it's gonna be about I'm going to start fasting more. I realized that I have not been fasting enough. I used to hear people in church and pastors and some people talk about fasting all the time. A lot of church members and pastors and, and preachers, prophets, and prophetess on TV, they will talk about fasting. And a lot of times the churches, I heard them say that they're going on a three-day fast or a five-day fast. <laughs> but fasting is new to me. I've never fasted because I always thought that as long as you pray good, I always thought that if you are consistent with your praying and you're praying every day, I always thought that that was good enough. I was thought that I, because I don't recall reading about fasting in the Old Testament or New Testament. I, I don't believe in the New Testament, but I don't recall um, seeing fasting. I don't recall reading about fasting in the New Testament. And I don't recall reading about fasting in the Old Testament. So I think it's something that that these pastors made up on their own. These pastors, these bishops, prophets, and prophetesses, I think it's something that they made up on their own. But it wasn't a bad thing that they made up. It wasn't that bad because I, I don't see nothing wrong with praying and fasting. I don't see nothing wrong with not eating for some hours or for some days. Yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with not eating for some hours or for a couple of days and just praying and meditating on the Most High God. Yeah. I don't see any problem with not eating and just praying to the Most High Yah and meditating only on Him and giving Him that time and reverence. Yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Because the Most High deserves 
That's sacred time. You owe him the sacred time of you not eating or drinking for some hours or for a couple of days and just praying to him. We owe him that time of not eating or drinking for a couple of days. You owe him that time of not drinking and not eating for for some hours for a couple of days okay, and just praying to the most high just praying and giving him all your energy and time and trying to strengthen your bond and your relationship with him because when you're concentrating meditating and focusing only on him you don't need food or drink because Yah is feeding your spirit or you're praying to him or you faithfully are praying to him you're praying to him strong and hard and having faith and determination that Yah is here in you. And Yah is going to answer your prayers. And Yah is going to reveal and show you signs and clues of what's to come. Or what's to come in your life and how to improve your life. How to improve your walk with Him. How to improve your spiritual walk with him when you're constantly when you are determined and praying to Yah real strong then Yah is feeding your soul Yah is feeding your spirit and when Yah is feeding your soul and feeding your spirit, you don't need no food or drink. You don't need nothing because when Yah feeding your spirit and soul, you don't need no food or drink. Hello. You don't need neither one of them. Because Yah's feeding your spirit and soul with like a spiritual food. <laughs> Yah is giving you like a spiritual food. <laughs> yeah, plus, I can't say when I'm going to start my fast. Because I'm not sure on when I'm going to start it. I'm not sure. But I'm seriously going to start it soon. I'm going to start my fast soon. I'm going to start fasting soon. Soon and very soon. <laughs> because, as you know, I'm a targeted individual. I get gang stalked. And these gang stalkers... They just, the evil demons, evil devils. And I'm praying against all these gang stalkers, all these demons, devils, all my enemies and secret enemies. I'm praying against them, all witches, warlocks, all those that's doing witchcraft for me. I'm praying against all of them, witch doctors and wizards. I pray against all of them. But I think that I might need to fast. I think that if I start fasting, I think that if I start praying and fasting about all these demons, witches, warlocks, wizards, and and these devils that's gang stalking me, and all my enemies, the secret enemies that's involved in my gang stalking, I think that if I start praying and fasting about it, then who knows? Y'all might strike. Y'all might strike down destroy and kill these demons and devils that's gang stalking me 
that's no evil to me and that's bothering me and I also think that if I start praying and fasting about my gang stalkers and me being gang stalk I think that y'all might stop them from gang stalking me yes y'all might stop this gang stalking program from bothering me yes he might stop this gang stalking so that's why I'm gonna start that's how I'll start fasting I'm gonna start my fast because the most high my stop these gang stalkers and this gang stalking program from bothering me and so I just want to encourage, inspire, you, give, give inspiration, spiritual enlightenment, some spiritual intellectualness to all the chosen ones, all the chosen elect, and chosen remnant of Israel that's out there. I want to, I want to just encourage you all and get some spiritual advice that if you all don't fast, it might be a good idea to start fasting. It might be, it might be a, a good idea to start a fast. You start small. You ain't gotta start big. You can start on your fast for like a couple of hours, and that's and that's it. Yes. If you're not used to fasting and never done it before, then you can start small. You do it for a couple of hours, and that's it. Or you try to do it for one day. Or two days, or three days. Yeah, you could try one day, two days, or three days. Okay, it's up to you. The choice, a decision, is yours. It's up to you on what do you want to do. It's up to you on what you are comfortable with. Yeah, so I'm going to end it here. I think I'm going to start for a couple of hours here. Because I never fasted before and it's new to me. I think I'm start for I'm going to start for a few hours. I'm going to start in the morning. I'm going to fast and pray. Don't eat or drink nothing. And then I'm going to stop in the afternoon or the evening. That's how I'm going to start off small. Okay, I'm a cow subscribe. Like, comment, share. Turn post notifications and turn the bell. So it's time I drop in a loaded video. You'll be notified. So turn the bell. Ding, 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 ding. And if you like this video, then please give it a fat thumbs up. Ching, ching, ching. And I appreciate all the love and support. I will see you all in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm trying to grow your spiritual walk and faith and your spiritual path more stronger with the most high. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my day of improving my spiritual faith and my spiritual walk and my spiritual life path to be more stronger with the most high. I want to say, you're always righteous all the time, day and night, winter and summer. Yahweh is holy. Y'all was fair. Y'all was just. Yahweh is perfect. Let the name of Yahweh be magnified. Let Yah be magnified. I want to say, I want to say, stay strong, keep your head up, stay positive, don't quit, never give up, stay the course to the end, and keep praising Yah all the way to the grave.
all the way to the graveyard. And and again, one love to all the chosen ones, the chosen lekker, chosen remnant of Israel. <laughs> A blue kiss to you all. I love you all. Bye, chosen ones. Bye, chosen luck. Chosen remnant of Israel. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Um, and again, one love. I love you all. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yah. Hallelujah. 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 I give Yah, I give a say to Yah, the highest praise of, of hallelujah. Three times. I, I praise his name seven times. Praise him out of Yahweh. 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 Praise the mighty Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, shalom. Shalom.